This is the third goddamn time I have to record this one video. Jesus Christ. Author is likely unknown because literally nobody said that quote before until now. I, Christian Damn it, too much. will take credit for this quote. Hmm. And no, I do not look black. It's just as the sun. Too lazy to find the the light. Song for this what the hell am I saying now? The same one again and again and again. Also, I still keep thinking that Donald. I always say that. I don't. I don't think they. I don't think they haven't changed the one for this year. Totally not, boy. <laughs> yeah, it's not like he kissed you like so many times before before this event. Somehow hasn't defended his championship in a long ass time. That's the only way that Santino Morella could ever. And unfortunately, he retired. He was no pretty good. Not saying. the greatest wrestler, Can but I liked him. Why the ringside crew even bothered to bring out these small ass ladders when they won't even help anyone get the briefcase? If they're not big enough to reach the briefcase, there's no point of them even. Unless they're midgets. But again, there is no midget in Hornswoggle, but he's dumb to begin with. Santino seriously thought that he could the just by jumping where he stands. What an idiot. Chuck Norris Hall of Fame 2013 sign. No. When has Chuck I'm Norris not going to say anything. That's just dumb. Dumb. That sign is just as pointless as it is stupid. Dumb as fuck. Good night. Tyson, you'll be injured in three the years. Introduced is too small to reach the prize cliche. Stop. <laughs> terrible. I decided to fall back before seeing Kara could ever connect with that dropkick. <laughs> Well, I was about to say, ha oh, ha, you failed, God. but Sin Cara has probably heard that about 15 times a day and believes Jesus it's a compliment. Jesus Christ. Now, I forgot about that. That killed the whole that horrendous botch. Fall as hell. There's no pinfalls in this match. Double sin. Sin Batra. Ow. Oh my God. Tyson Kidd just got broken in half from that terrifying body slam onto the ladder. <laughs> that was one of the most extreme moments I've ever seen in Money in the Bank ladder matches. Oh my god, that's good. Um, that ladder's broken for some reason. Actually, I don't recall seeing that ladder get destroyed in any way during this match. What the hell did I miss? Dot-com. Oh, Michael Cole is too lazy to say WWE.com for some reason. You dumb. Ah, you you both failed. Oh my god, this match is gonna be full of botches, isn't it? Since I couldn't even talk oh wait, to there's the one reason why. Sin Cara. What? Sin Cara is saving the match for himself, not the other wrestlers. If he was Can I please kill myself because of Michael Cole? Didn't want to win himself. No. Yeah. All right. Damian Sando could easily have climbed a couple more steps to get to the briefcase, but but oh, he won it last year, so but um, Super Cena. And they already wasted him. They also wasted the Cody. Win the freaking match, you stupid dumbass! At three wow. seconds of stupidity. I understand that Santino's goofy, but wasting an opportunity oh, to win the match. Holy shit! I haven't seen you just pissed stupid. about Santino. God damn it, Dolph! You had one job and you landed incorrectly. Damn it! Good God! Tensai attempted to murder Sakamoto. Yep. The ladder is bridged between the ring and the commentator's desk just for the moment of someone crashing through the ladder and breaking it in half. Gee, that's cliche. long. Damn, that's a long cliche. <laughs> ah, the ladder didn't break. Probably should have slammed someone up. Or, or get a bigger ladder. <laughs> Winner of Money in the Bank 2012 to bring you WrestleMania 17. Except it wasn't nearly as good as that. Yeah, one. I know. God, WrestleMania 17 was so perfect. Yes, you have. Can I also kill myself because of Jerry? No, oh, all right. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. The Money in the Bank ladder match will be with five. The Miz doesn't even have the authority to place himself in the Money in the Bank ladder match. He made his return just now. What makes him think he has the right to put himself in matches? Does this mean anyone can place themselves in matches? God Why does damn this it. not work for anyone else in the future? Fuck. Yes, I understand that Raw's 1,000th episode is coming up, but we don't need flashbacks in the middle of this pay-per-view event. And this happens many times throughout this night. Sheamus versus Alberto Del Rio, match number two. And there's still going to be two Jesus more pay-per-view matches. I don't know what the, the hell is going on in my dorm. Of Sheamus defeating Alberto. Which <laughs> means involved in the world title picture for the better part of five months if he was never going to win the title anyway. There we go. That's What's the point of revving the car's engine if This is not, not the Indy 500, Alberto. Sheamus? Who's Sheamus? Who's Sheamus? 
I know Sheamus, but I don't know Shema. checks wrestlers for weapons in this match, but not in any of the other matches of the event cliche. What's the damn point? I know. No one cares what's trending. Exactly. Fans chanting, we want Ziggler when they saw him less than 10 minutes ago. You miss him already? Again, hook him away. I got the chip, man. A count of one, but it is... Wow. A clear one count, and Alberto starts arguing with the referee about it being a three count. Can I also count myself to get to Alberto? No. Awesome timing, except for one problem. Alberto seemingly attempted to deliver a code. And Jericho won't appear to the main event. Also, this event had to be considered to be the Shouldn't worst Money in the Bank pay-per-view ever. Weakness, I mean, sure, the 2015 one was, uh, wait, what was a terrible one? Was, I think this is the worst one, other than 2010. 2010 was also a bad one. What the fuck? Jesus. Um, Ricardo, if you were demanding that the referee make the three count, you should hit the apron three times, not four. Not a... <laughs> Uh, you missed. That single botch ultimately causes Alberto's defeat. Post match assault. Jesus Christ, so many interruptions. Alberto ruins Dolph's chances of breaking Kane's record and cashing in his briefcase 27 minutes after winning wow. it. Well, I don't want to be interrupted again doing this stuff a fourth time. Awesome in every way. Previously on Money in the Bank. is not Jamaican. That point was made clear by Triple H in 2009. Abraham Washington, is there anybody in the world that even remembers this asshole for anything other than the controversial joke he made that led to him getting fired and subsequently shoved out the face of wrestling? It is the primetime players, Darren Young and Titus O'Neil, but do you see the problem here? The graphics are displaying Percy Watson's Twitter for some stupid reason. Whoever thought that Darren Young looked like Percy Watson is an asshole. And is the only person to never have won a match in WWE by pinfall and remain with the company for the better part of eight years, while actual talents like John Morrison and Drew McIntyre get kicked to the curb. Can I kill myself because of Rosa Mendez? No. Fuck. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in ten sins for WWE's Why? decision of no having Pat 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 talking in a microphone during this entire fucking match. Jeez. It's seriously annoying as hell. We got the commentators, we even have Kofi and our truth as guest commentators, and now this shit. This is Primo and Titus. That's Epico, you stupid dumbass. They're not twins, it's easy oh to Oh my tell god, you're an idiot. Please get a round of applause! No, but you'll get a sense since you won't take that stupid headset off. <laughs> you're not playing any online game, really? all right. I don't think that tag is even legal, considering the referee never actually saw it. The referee just assumed a tag was made and approved without making sure. Ah, you hit the camera. Thanks a lot, dumbass. Before Primo and Epico actually won the match, so thanks a lot, dumb fuck. What an idiot! You, the tag, Primo and Epico won. Because reasons. Random stipulation adding is random. God damn it. I dig crazy chicks. Which was truthfully Phil Brooks talking instead of CM Punk. <laughs> I... CM Punk, will you marry me? Irony. Mm. I'm not gonna marry you. Yet. You're not gonna marry her until 2014. And you got fired that same day. Fuck you, WWE. Ever since WWE stopped I'm still gonna watch the Money in the Bank tomorrow anyway. I know. Now, just imagine if this image right here was real. That'd be the most historic thing that the WWE Championship would have ever seen. Oh, that would have been amazing. But, nope. China was close. CM Punk turned, saw AJ Lee in the way of the barricade, but proceeded to toss Daniel Bryan into her direction nonetheless. Punk is a dick to his future wife. Yeah. Well, let me stop you right there. Well, Michael, no, you're a dumbass. First of all, we have two other impromptu matches that I forgot were added into this match. That I don't know who they were. And then we have the Money in the Bank. Do you honestly forget about the Money in the Bank? Moron. I guess in this case, I can say referee knocked down a crucial point in match cliche. This is honestly the first time I placed that sin for a guest referee. I know. Also, this takes AJ out of three quarters of this near 30 minute match and makes us all wonder what the point of her being a referee is for. I know, that's for. dumb. Except for the hundred times that it did, Booker. Punk is addicted to security. Wow. You're kidding me, Daniel. Are you me, Daniel? telling me that Daniel
Daniel, who was watching Punk even before he made a move, just sat there and let this all happen instead of, yep. I don't know, playing possum and taking advantage? I know. Don't mind the sound you hear, Punk. It's not like I brought out a kendo stick and warned you that I'm about to whack you with it. Seriously? You clearly and you complain about it minutes later. Yeah, you wonder if there's some limit to how many times you can whack your opponent with a weapon. Oh, did you say peroxide? Um, why? Why do you want to know if we can say Don't peroxide? Don't care. Aw, how cute. Daniel's giving Punk a kiss. You can't slow down now. You gotta keep coming. <laughs> Giggity. But with the cooperation from Punk, these two managed to make that, that was run I, I honestly say, this is the best match of the whole night when I saw it five years ago. Hey, Jerry, what was it you were complaining about earlier regarding a limit uh? times you can whack your opponent at risk injury? Got nothing to say now, huh? Oh, yeah, I forgot. AJ oh, yeah. AJ with the cool shorts. See, that's what happens when you have so Seriously, that's the only way you want to make her more a little bit more sexier. Um, referees are not supposed to supply weapons to the competitors. That goes against Thanks. the officiating of a wrestling match. Good job, JJ. You're the worst guest referee ever. That was, in my opinion, an extremely awesome way to end this great match. Best match of the night, in my view. Here's a reduction of 15 cents. Wow. The bell had rung before AJ could even signal for the wow. ring. Either that or AJ signaled too late. Either way, it's a sin. I know. Impromptu handicap. God damn it. Match. Ryback's non pyro pyro. Ryback impressive again. For every minute that this abomination of a bathroom break match existed, <laughs> no sins out of this match is four minutes long. Four sins. What the fuck? Yet another impromptu match? Can I kill myself with this impromptu match? I know I made the joke so many times. I don't care. Also, why is Layla using Tiffany's old entrance theme? You didn't think I noticed, did you? I noticed a lot. Isn't there anybody in the WWE that's not about the money? Because I can't think of one, to be honest. And just like the handicap match involving Ryback moments ago, adding in another number of sins for every minute that this improved. They wanted to delay the time. time. Why not make the Which money in the bank ladder match more longer? Jerry, you're great. Yeah. Sure, let's wait a full 20 seconds before John Cena's music hit, uh, but not wait that full length when all the others were making their entrances. There are two things I didn't like about this match. First yes. off, there was originally this is the worst Money in the Bank ladder match the ever. So it felt at first like your average Fatal 4-Way match. But my main problem with this is the fact that the Money in the Bank ladder match is an opportunity for those wrestlers who have never been WWE champion to experience that chance. In this case, literally every single one of these guys have been WWE champion. So why are they in this match if they've already experienced being champion? Some of them many, many times. Including the Cena. The bank well, the Miz has to hold the, the belt uh, like no the more, the more often. He only holds it Good once. Lord, I've been putting in so many cliche sins here tonight. Mm. <laughs> the Big Show clearly missed John, who decided to fall just Thanks, John. Ride of falling down. <laughs> John stands on the spot for nearly 20 seconds debating on whether or not he should destroy the Spanish announce table. Yeah, well, that's and also racist. To go for it because that table is yet to be destroyed on this night. <laughs> After nearly 10 years of John giving show the attitude adjustment, Jerry is still surprised that John really did do this. Really, this Jerry? John gives show the attitude adjustment is common and no longer shocking. <laughs> We interrupt Money in the Bank 2012 to bring you Money in the Bank 2010 because everybody assumed that Barry and Show underneath all these ladders will work this time because it did before. Chris Jericho is uh, an idiot. You can't it's win just like the man. It's just like the Royal Rumble this year. Good God, don't start masturbating now. <laughs> Ow, my hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we haven't seen that scene yet today. I admit, I laughed at that perfect timing for Jerry's hilarious commentary when the ladder I know. The only person who will determine if John Cena will pay for his past sins is the sinner himself, yours truly. Christian America. You guys act like you've never seen this ladder before. Really? Did you not see Show use this exact really? same ladder two years ago at this same event? How the hell do you not remember this thing? Maybe also, they, uh, maybe they remember it. Uh, giant ladder while everyone conveniently stays on the outside. Look at the size of that thing. You've that seen it before. Said, but not to Michael Cole. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Sexual assault. Exactly. Wait, whoa, 
stop right there. Michael Cole just referred to that briefcase as a briefcake. I suddenly want cake now. Anyone want some cake? Hey, Christian, I'm in it. I don't care what anybody says. John Cena won the match by accident. You can tell by the look on his face right there. Sure, he was likely supposed to win the match, but no handle breaks off just like that. Especially considering the fact that Chris Jericho was hanging on to the briefcase while dangling in the air one minute ago. So, sorry guys, but this was an accident. I'm not convinced what WWE employees say. That look on John's face proves- That should be a meme! Post-match assault. Dick. 